Earth. Wake up! It's time! Ah! Who? Who are you supposed to be? You don't recognize me! It's me! Moon Earth! Moon Earth? What is that? How are you even on Earth? Oh my goodness, you have people on you too! That's nothing! The people on me are the most beautiful! Here's some for you, Earth! Here are my gorgeous people! Don't get too jealous! <laughs> what? Now there's the Sun Earth too! Is there anything here that isn't related to me? This is not normal! Where's Mars? I'm here! Why are you calling me? You're so annoying! Okay, I get it. This is just some kind of hallucination. How is this even possible? Can you explain what's bothering you? This is a disaster! It's impossible that you're also Earths and have people on you too! Like, how's that? And you're all getting along between each other? The people aren't causing any drama? Well, your people often travel to me. Some even moved. But overall, we're the same. Even our people haven't changed much. You have Earthlings. I have Moonlings. And they don't fight? Come with me. Here he is, the troublemaker. Always losing it. That's why no one talks to him. And what did he do? One time, he attacked Mars. Nearly took him down. The sun had to focus all its rays on Pluto to leave Burns. And we banished him. He's not the ninth planet anymore. I don't think he ever was the ninth planet. You came to me by yourself. <laughs> it was just a dream. <sighs> what dream? Ah! Hey, Moon! Careful out there, or you'll become one of the biggest meteorites I've seen in a long time. It's those Mars and Saturn goons playing soccer with me! <laughs> I'll talk to them later so they don't throw things at me. Last thing we need in 2024 is a meteorite. What's gonna happen? Although I remember how a meteorite fell on you that destroyed all the dinosaurs. I guess we better not do it. Moon, this is a different time. There are many ways to get rid of the meteorite in 2024. For example, a meteorite can change its flight path. And how do you do that? Well, for example, we could send special engines to the asteroid so that they push it in the opposite direction, so it'll fly away from me. That's one of the ways to get rid of a meteorite in 2024. Listen, but what if nothing stops a meteorite and it falls? What'll happen to you? Well, of course it'll be very painful, just like any other meteorite. For example, the last large meteorite fell in Russia, in the city of Chelyabinsk. It was a mess of a ton. Destroyed buildings in a radius of 50 kilometers. But it's good that people are okay. Wow, I'm really sorry for you. And it also depends on where the meteorite falls, because the most valuable thing I have on me is people. And for example, if the meteorite falls in the area of China or India, there will be more chances that there will be problems for people, because there are a lot of people there. I didn't realize it was so complicated. I'll try not to get close to you. Moon, haven't you forgotten that you're our soccer ball? Ah! Earth, why does Pluto scare me so much? I don't know, what's going on? Why are you afraid of him? Look at him! He's twitching! Huh. Yeah, he's always been like that. He's kind of a psycho. Yeah, you're right. He really is a psycho. Who is a psycho here? <laughs> Me? I'm not crazy. You don't know much about me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> like that you're cold. Everyone knows that. Not just that. I'm offended. Let's meet here in a year. Pluto, we won't be able to meet here in a year. It takes you 246 Earth years to orbit the Sun. I'm amazed you even made it here now. Did you know that I... That you what? 
have a dwarf size? You're as big as me, but I'm not a planet. I am the only dwarf planet with an atmosphere. <laughs> I have moons unlike you, Moon, and more moons than you have, Earth. Plus, I have a polar ice cap and a heart-shaped spot. <laughs> I'm adorable. Yep, very interesting. But I am the realm of eternal darkness and frost, capable of conquering all your humans, Earth. Did you know that? My name is the name of your people's god! Did you know that? Now come here! Oh, I'm such a bright star! The only thing more beautiful than me is me! <laughs> I'm sure everyone admires me! Even Pluto, who barely gets any of my light! Uh, Earth, we're a long time friends, right? Yeah, we are. And you're the smartest planet in the solar system, right? I think I'm the most developed planet, so yeah, I guess that makes me smart too. Then can you do me a favor, because we are friends and you are smart and so on? Sure I can. Switch places with the sun! That narcissistic ball of gas is driving me nuts! Always bragging and thinking it's the most beautiful star! It's disgusting to watch this megalomaniac! <laughs> Moon, I'd love to switch places with the sun, but then my people wouldn't get enough sunlight. And I'd become too large. I can't live without light and heat. Come with me! Oh, hi, Earth! Hi, Sun! Oh my gosh, Moon, what are you doing? No, Moon, what are you doing? <laughs> That's impossible! Moon, what have you done? See? And you said it was impossible! Turns out you're not the smartest after all! Now you're in the Sun's place! Rejoice! And so you don't freeze, the Sun will orbit you daily to keep you warm from all sides! I'm the smartest now! Earth? You there? Earth, I want to know all your secrets. I already know the secrets of Jupiter, Neptune, and Mars, and now I want to know yours. I'm not telling anyone. Hmm, like what secrets? Well, any secret. For example, Jupiter told me that there's a red spot on it. In fact, that's not a pimple as I thought all my life, but the strongest storm that can be seen even on Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. Uh-huh. So you're saying you're not telling anyone? Well, yes. By the way, do you want to know the secret of Neptune? Sure. Well, he's insanely sinking, and he's fully aware of it. He's so embarrassed about it, but when he interacts with other planets, he pretends he doesn't smile. But he told me his secret. I overheard your conversation, Saturn. Didn't expect that from you. If you say anything what I told you, you're in for it. Yeah, uh, I guess I won't talk about him. So, Earth, will you tell me? You want to know the secret of the universe? Of course I want to! So we're actually inside the universe. It doesn't tell us about it, but we're all inside it. What? No way! Actually, it's true. What the- <laughs> Holy! Hello, Pluto. Hey! Huh? You're kinda silent. Yeah, just contemplating, you know. We are not eternal. Nothing is eternal. Death awaits us. Oh. For watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, there's a new video.